In this lesson in Microsoft Excel, I'd like to show you the easy way to calculate multiple loan payment scenarios. Let's assume you want to figure out what the monthly payment would be at different interest rates and at different borrowing amounts. So let me show you how we set this up. We do a simple loan in the table at the top. I pick an amount and I can pick any amount I like. It doesn't have to be anything reflected down here. And then I pick an interest rate. Again, it's totally arbitrary. Then select the payment period in months. One usually works. And then the number of periods in months. Usually these are multiples of 12, like this would be a three-year loan. And when I do all these, fill these four boxes in, I use Excel to calculate the value in the three below. I calculate the payment amount, and you see the formula in a text form in cell F6. I calculate the total payments over the duration of the loan. That appears in, in cell F7. And the, I click on the total interest in B8 and the formula I've replicated in a text form in cell F8. So with, the, with these three formulas in, in these three cells, I only have one more step to do. I have to take my, um, my monthly payment, which is cell B6, and copy it down over here into cell B11. It just says equal cell B6. And then I go ahead and I put in some possible interest rates. And you can put any number you want to here. Um, and they don't have to be in ascending order, but it makes the chart easier to read. And then I can put in any potential borrowing amounts. Am I going to borrow $20,000 or 62 or 80 or 90? And then with that information filled in, let me show you how to easily uh, fill this table out. I click on my data tab at the top and then I go to my what if analysis and I'm going to click on data table. But before I click on data table, I need to highlight my table. So I'm going to highlight, I include the $59 here, whatever that number will be for you. And I highlight from cell B11 in this example down through I19. Now with it highlighted, I do what if. I do data table, and what is the row input? Well, the rows I'm working with in this particular scenario are my percentages. So I need to click on my percent back in my original loan setup. And I click there, and it fills it in with the absolute value, dollar sign $B, dollar sign 2. And then I need a column input. Well, my columns are the amount I borrow. So when, when I've clicked on this cell, I simply click on the borrowing amount, which is cell B1 in my example. And it gives me dollar sign B, dollar sign 1, and I click on OK. And immediately, Microsoft Excel fills the table. So if I borrowed uh, $20,000 at 8%, my annual monthly payment is $627. If I borrow $70,000 at 9%, the cost for me monthly, my monthly payment amount is $22.26. And once you have the table created, you can change this to anything you want. Let's say I do an 8.25%, and let's say I decide I'm going to borrow $68.50. It will recalculate, whoop, 68500, there we go. And it will recalculate anything you want in order to match. Just to prove that this table is working, I'm going to enter in my $2,000 here. doesn't matter where. And I will type in, instead of 5%, 4.45. And again, I get my $59. And so get, this gives you an easy way to play with the numbers, change my borrowing amount, change my percentages, and see what my monthly payment would be. Now you can use this in another way. I'm going to click on the next tab over. In this particular table, we're looking at the number of months as a variable and the percent as a variable, not the loan amount. Okay, so let's say we have a loan amount. We're going to set the loan amount here at $55,000. 
and that gives me my monthly payment. And I want to figure out what that would be uh, with a 36-month loan or a 72-month loan or a 108-month loan at these interest rates. Again, all I do is I click on cell B11. I highlight the whole table. I do my what-if analysis. I go to my data table. My, my input row at the top remains my percentages, so I click on my percent. My column input's different, though. My columns are the months, the number of months. So instead of clicking on cell B1, I'll click on cell B4. And I'll click on OK. And so you see, if I, <clears throat> if I extend the loan out uh, into more and more months, obviously my monthly payment goes down. And so you can take any two of the factors in a loan and put one on the X grid and one on the Y grid and calculate one of the other factors in the loan to play with multiple scenarios in Microsoft Excel using a two-way data table. Mm -hmm.